Hello and welcome to the 49th video in this series program HS Engine in C. So for this video I've added a new file into our project folder called search.c. The code that's in it at the moment looks like so. The standard includes we have and I've made a definition of a function called search position which is all we'll be doing with this in this video but it's defined anyway. I've added this search position function also as an extern into defs.h and naturally of course it's search.c is now appearing inside the make file. The next thing I'd just like you to do is to go into parse move and there was a line in here that was printing out to the screen, I've deleted it already, the uh, from and the two square I think and, and the character that's in, well we don't need that anymore because it'll become very irritating. So I've deleted the line out inside here from the previous video. And now we'll go back into vice.c and I've added here after the make move, an else clause just to print out that the move hasn't been passed if it hasn't uh, been understood by the uh, computer so that at least we can uh, get some indication when our move doesn't get put in correctly. And I've changed this pass fen here function to take in the starting fen, so the start position to set up the board. Okay, so in this video we're going to make one of the functions we'll be using inside the search position, well, ins inside the alpha beta algorithm. That I talked about a couple of videos ago, the repetition detection, where we just need to detect one repetition. And to do that, we simply write a function called isRepetition, it'll be called, and we'll take as an argument the con a constant pointer to a board structure, because we're not going to be changing the board at all inside the function. And really, all we need to do is we need to I'll make int index first equals not. What we need to do is, is loop through all of the position keys in our history. So we would say index equals naught, and index is less than and pos, and I think it's called his play. So the count of the history play plus plus index. And then what well, you would think, or one way of doing this would simply be now to say that if the position and the current position key is equal to the position and then the history, so much like in the make move how we've used the history, at index position key, and this should be, sorry, hisplay minus one. So if the current position, no it shouldn't, it should be hisplay, so if the, oh it can be minus one, sorry, because sides will have changed. So if the position key is equal to what we have now then we know that we've repeated our position so we can return true otherwise we can here return false and this will be enough and acceptable but there is actually a little performance trick you can make on here we also have in our position the 50 move rule and the 50 move rule go is, the, the, is reset to zero whenever as you know by now a capture is made or a pawn is moved well, also, if a capture is made or a pawn is moved, then we're in a position that we can't possibly repeat because pawns can't go backwards and capture pieces can't go back on the board. So what we can actually say is we'll start looking at the last time the 50 move rule was reset. So we'll do the hist number of half moves made in the game minus the 50 move. I think it was called 50 move in that way. I'm now getting a bit unsure that I've named these things correctly. Okay, 50 move and his. So we'll start from there instead in our loop. So we'll say from the history play minus the 50 move. So from the last time in half moves, the 50 move rule was set to zero up until the last entry we've got in our history is the position key equal to what we've got in our history and if it is then we've got a repeat position and we return the true otherwise we return the false. Now this function will go into search.c but I just want to quickly test this function so I'm just going to have a make here and it makes and now I'm going to run vice and just do something quick I'm going to do it with the knights here because obviously pawns reset the 50 move rule so if I go b1 c3 and move out the first knight and let's go b8 c6 Okay, ah, and before I do that, I need to do something else. I actually need to print to the board a, an actual repetition. So here we'll say if, and I'll just copy the name, it's quicker, is repetition and board. 
then let's print something to the screen to let us know it's a repetition so we'll have a print f and rep and we'll call it scene in big capital so we know it's there okay so i'll just save and make that again clear the screen and then run okay so again b1 c3 and now I'll enter, and I'll scroll down a bit, b8, c6. So now we've got both knights out. Now I'm going to put this knight back on b1. So I'm going to say th c3, b1. And I'm going to put, and this should then be a repetition when I now go c6, b8. And indeed it says repetition scene. And now if I go b1, c3, it should also tell us a repetition scene. Yes. And now let's just go b8, a6. And there's no repetition scene here. Good. So first indication is, is that the repetition scene seems to be working. Later on in the engine, we can debug this a little better when it's searching by actually print it. We'll make a function to print the entire game line to the screen. And then if it finds a repetition, quickly have a look through the moves. But to be honest, in this whole series, I don't want to concentrate too much on putting all sorts of test functions in because you can do that yourselves. It's about trying to actually get a chess engine going. So good. So that's the first one of the first functions that we'll need in our search implemented. Now I'm simply going to take this is repetition. I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to drop it at the top of search.c. And obviously then I'm going to go back into vice. And now I'm just going to comment out for now this section here in case I decide at some time in the near future we need it again. And save all. And then I'm just going to run make again to make sure it makes. It does. Very good, so that's it for this video. The is repetition function is implemented and questions, comments, criticisms, welcomes always on YouTube.